Capricorn. So the message I was getting for you guys was um, a Cancer or a Gemini spying on you. So, you know, social media, uh, whatever the case is. Also, um, I was getting that a water sign is going to continue to be inconsistent. So whatever that means for you, maybe you guys, um, you're not sure what their motives are or if things are going to move forward or whatever it is with this person. I feel like they just don't know really what they're doing or really what they want. So they are going to continue to be um, very wishy-washy. Also, I do want to quickly mention the earrings I'm wearing. My friend actually made these for me. Super cute. Why does my fucking I need a new ring light, y'all. I'm about to make a fucking wish list. But anyway, yes, she made me these super cute. It's a little tarot card. It says the high priestess. She also made me these ones, which if you know me, these are like perfect for me. So yeah, she does make all types of amazing pieces. Do be sure you go check her Instagram out and her website. I will leave all of that information down below. I do want to give a quick thank you to everyone who has joined my Patreon and to everyone who has um, subscribed to my vlog channel. The links to those will be down below as well. I am doing Vlogmas, so definitely be sure you go check out my new videos. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Also, for those of you interested in ordering a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com where I have different options of different readings you can purchase. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Capricorn? All right, so we got the Queen of Swords energy. Some of you guys would be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but also the Queen of Swords. This to me is having the attitude of not dealing with any nonsense, not dealing with anyone's bullshit. I definitely do feel some of you have been um, just fed up with, you know, maybe somebody else, possibly a relationship, possibly a family member, or both. Um, I definitely do feel some of you are trying to make a decision regarding the situation, what the best way is to handle whatever you've got going on. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Capricorn? All right, lover's card. So yeah, some of you are dealing with um, a relationship situation. We do have these six of wands. So I definitely do see things improving for you as far as this goes, but I definitely feel that there's something that needs to stop. Um, almost like stopping a bad habit or stopping a behavior of some sort, whether this is on your part, their part, or of course it could be both as well. Like something needs to change here in order for um, this to be successful. So we do have the Knight of Pentacles energy. So I definitely feel your person's here for the long haul. And I do feel like this is um, a relationship that maybe has been long term. Uh, so I do know that your person, um, they're, they want to make this work for you. They want to make this last long term. We do have the Ace of Wands energy, so I do feel for some of you, possibly you singles, um, I do see new love coming in. And like the Ace of Wands is very passionate. Um, it definitely could have to do with maybe a new creative project, a new job. But also this makes me feel like a very like lustful new love type of energy. So it definitely could be someone like that coming in for you. Now, of course, I will clarify all of these cards, but it makes me feel like this... Um, I don't want to say one night stand. It just feels like a very spontaneous like connection out of nowhere like you and somebody just start feeling each other and I do feel like this may move forward towards um something more serious so if some of you do have someone new in your life um and you're wondering like okay how do they feel about me do know that they care about you a great deal and they really do see a future with you or they're very excited to see where this connection or relationship can go universe why is the queen of swords energy here Okay, two of cups. So yeah, uh, definitely feel in here. I do feel like you and an air sign are connecting um, a lot. Okay, so for some of you, this is someone from your past, but also the six of cups energy. This represents soulmate energy. So do know if you are dealing with, um, whether this is a new person or someone that you have been dealing with, this air sign, they are your soulmate. Um, I definitely do see you guys. I love that we have the lovers and the two of cups energy here together like this because it makes me feel like you and this person do have a purpose together. So do know that for those of you that are in this loving relationship, even though there may be some things that need to be changed, that need to be worked on, do know this is supposed to last. Why is the two of pentacles energy here? Okay. So we do have the King of Swords coming out. So yeah, there's a, there's a serious decision. And I do feel like um, advice here, if you do know what this decision is for you, whether this has to do with work, has to do with a relationship, whatever, use this decision, make this decision logically. Now, if you are dealing with a, you know, and I do feel like it's important, High Priestess Energy, to listen to your intuition as well. But I do feel like this is for some of you that if you're dealing with a certain situation, whether this is um, a relationship that... Maybe it's not going well, or this is a job thing that's not going well. Um, 
make i almost want to say make the right decision but make the logical decision in the situation if you know something or someone is holding you back it is time to cut it off it's time to move forward high priestess energy this is trusting the universe so do know yeah it might be a difficult decision to make maybe you're not sure what's going to happen or what the outcome is going to be but advice is to make this decision right now why is the high priestess energy pretty much allow yourself to walk away from this and heal um so of course job relationship whatever um it's time to move forward it's time to walk away from this and to allow yourself to heal so we do have the strength card here with the lovers. I love this because it makes me feel like you and your partner have a very strong connection. So whatever it is that you're going through, whether this is financial troubles or this is uh, troubles with family, the home, like whatever it is for you, do know you guys are strong enough to get through it, um, not only individually, but as a couple as well. What is the six of wands energy here? And whatever, like I want to say relationship struggles that maybe you have been dealing with, um, your relationship, your bond is strong enough to get past it. So we do have the judgment card here clarifying the six of wands. Yes, judgment, time to make a decision. Um, and judgment is a final decision as well. So for those of you that are possibly walking away from a relationship, um, there's no going back. So do be aware of that. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Libra. Um, but I definitely do feel if someone has been causing you drama for a great deal of time, it is time to let them go and move forward. I see so much uh, good energy coming for you. Like I said, you singles out there, there is new love coming in. Why is the Knight of Pentacles energy here for Capricorn? Okay. So we have the Seven of Cups energy here. So yeah, I do feel like a lot of you are reviewing, um, considering different options. And I do feel like this has to do with job, work, possibly business. Maybe some of you are wondering like maybe where to invest your money, um, what to do with yourself uh, business-wise, maybe looking through your options. And I definitely see this um, working for your benefit. We do have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I see you eventually making money from whatever it is that you're doing or whatever it is that you're planning. This is going to be successful. So keep that passion, keep that uh, drive that you have. Like, you know, oh, uh, you have a great idea and then you get started. Like, keep that passion throughout the whole thing. Do not allow anything you got going on, whether it's this job, relationship, uh, yourself, whatever it is, do not allow that to get in your way of your success because this is what's going to provide you with long-term financial stability. So that pretty much distractions, <clears throat> including yourself. Don't allow distractions to get in the way of your success. Why is the Three of Pentacles energy here? The Three of Pentacles, this can represent people, of course, being interested in what it is that you're doing. This can represent people wanting to work with you, wanting to collab with you. We have the Fool card energy. So yeah, the Fool card is saying go for it. For those of you, I feel like a lot of you have a good idea. Um, something that you're very passionate about. The Fool card in the tower is saying fuck it like literally say fuck it just go for it go for what you want to do do what you know you should do the tower of course this is going to it's going to change your life but i feel like this is changing your life in a really good way you're going to change the whole way you make money like the way you bring in income you're going to change that and, it, and i do feel like it's going to change your whole life for the better why is the ace of wands energy here why is the ace of wands here Oh, okay. So the Three of Cups wanted to flip over. Yeah, Three of Cups. Ooh, and the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, I'm getting two things. Um, one, of course, if we are talking about a creative project or we're talking about something like that, I absolutely see you celebrating your success. Um, this is going to be great. Continue to do what you're doing. Don't get frustrated. Of course, everything is a process. You learn, you make mistakes, and you learn from those mistakes. Don't let that defeat you. Any little mistake you made, do not let it defeat you. Definitely keep going because I see this being very, um, a very good thing for you. Also, second thing I'm getting, if we're talking about love, Three of Cups also represents a reconciliation. Um, and the Ace of Cups, or the Ace of Wands to me, this is kind of like um, my one night stand card. This is my dick card. Um, so if you are reconciling with someone, um, do consider that. I definitely feel the feelings are going to come back. I do feel like it's going to be um, passionate. So of course, if that's something that you guys want to do, go ahead. But the thing that concerns me is the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, do not allow yourself to get emotionally invested if this is a situation that you're going to be facing or advice to avoid this um, passionate interaction altogether because I feel like either you 
I mean, this is your reading, so probably you are going to end up getting hurt. Maybe you're like, oh, you know, I don't even feel that way anymore or whatever advice is to avoid it because you are going to feel those feelings again and it's just not worth it. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.